Well, many eyes have been on the drama surrounding Portsmouth City Council. One city official is urging the city to address the increase in violent crimes. Senator your side's Aisha Tolliver sat down with Portsmouth's Commonwealth's attorney, Stephanie Morales, who says Portsmouth needs to bring in an organization who specializes in crime prevention. Crime rates are going up across the country, and it's no different in our backyards. Portsmouth's violent crimes are up 56% in the city in 2022 compared to the same time in 2021. The stories of the victims are especially close to one woman, Portsmouth Commonwealth's attorney, Stephanie Morales. For me, I'm in the trenches with this, and there's no pain like the pain that I hear in the voices of these people. Morales says the crime trends for her are more than just numbers. Each case has a face a story, and heartbroken loved ones seeking justice. While she and her team spend a lot of time in the courtroom, she also makes room for positive interactions in the community. Nobody thinks of positive coming out of the court system, but we are fighting. Fighting to save lives before it's too little too late. When Morales took office, she created two programs, the Future Leaders Initiative and the Control-Alt-Delete program. The Future Leaders Initiative gives youth the opportunity to envision themselves as the future of the criminal justice system. They go through mock trials, sit in on cases, and meet judges and attorneys. Some of them have matriculated through law school and are awaiting bar results and going to sit for the bar to try to become attorneys in the office. So that program has come full circle. From showing youth what their futures could look like to going into jails and showing inmates they can change the trajectory of their futures. Her Control-Alt-Delete program supports people who have had problems with the law to reduce recidivism rates and reentry. And interacted with people who were incarcerated before they got out to say, this is how you can be successful. But now that crime has seeped even deeper into the community, she understands her programs and going into schools aren't enough. She says it'll take all the resources the city has. I would like to see a really robust violence interruption program be put in place in the city of Portsmouth. And this is not anything that any one agency can do. For example, she pointed out Curve Violence Global, whose violence intervention program was so effective, shootings went down 63% in New York City. And we have to try something different, and that is something that we have not had. I think there are efforts now to prop up violence interruption efforts, and that's great, but I would like to have the guidance, and I've been talking about this for like at least the past three to four years, uh, where I would like to see us have the guidance from some of those entities that have seen success. Morales says she'll continue to do what she can within her power, but the bottom line is everyone needs to be on the same page to eradicate this. What I'm really hoping to see is, you know, despite any negativity that has happened, that we will unify in this city and in this community. I'm Aisha Tolliver, on your side.